Hey everybody, this video is brought to you by Lenovo Cloud Computing. If you're looking for hosting for your next website, I recommend you check them out. They're going to save you a ton of money over Azure AWS. I've been using them for over eight years now. It's what I use to power my website, CodeHawk.com. They also have a channel that you can check out on YouTube if you're looking for more information directly from them or just tips and tricks on how to maintain your server. Hey everybody, what's up? All right, so in this video, what we're gonna be talking about is React versus Angular in 2021, and we're just gonna be looking at the facts. And this is a follow-up to a video I made a few months ago where people got all pissy because I added some Angular JS facts in with uh, Angular, and they're two separate projects. I realized that it was a simple mistake, but we're gonna look at the facts and make sure Angular JS is not included in the discussion whatsoever. All right, so the first place we're going to look is the jobs, and we're going to go to Indeed.com, which is the number one jobs website in the United States, and it gives a good indication of what it's like probably worldwide, but not exactly the same. Either way, we're going to go ahead and search for React developer, also Angular developer, but then also React and then Angular. Now, React is so much more of a general term, so React is naturally going to get a few more job hits than just the name Angular. But when you shake it down, React has quite a bit more jobs than Angular, and that seems to be pretty accurate, no matter how you search for it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is Stack Overflow Trends, the number one question answer website regarding programming. And this is where people got upset last time because I, I think I referenced Angular JS here and not Angular. And no matter how you shake it down, if you look at Angular and React JS, React JS has the advantage over Angular by quite a long shot. Now, if we look at GitHub, there have been nearly 160,000 projects created just this year using Angular. And if you compare that to React, there are 692,000 projects created just this year in React. All right, so the next thing we wanna look at is the average salary. So I'm gonna go off of the website PayScale, which is supposedly dedicated to this type of information. And according to them, they have React developers at nearly $92,000 a year. And then they have Angular at 80, nearly $87,000 a year. So that's really it. We could look at Google Trends and a couple of other things, but I think what it really boils down is that we are seeing some more adoption, I would say in the corporate world with Angular. I think the corporate world sort of lost uh, interest in Angular for a period of time after the 1.3 fiasco, and React really took a lot of that thunder. Most people will say, well, you can't really compare React to Angular because a Angular is a full stack framework, whereas React is just trying to provide the view for MVC. And that's not really accurate because most of the time what we're looking at here is that a React project includes all the other stuff that Angular is in including with it, like routing, uh, for React, we use React Router, there's Redux, there's all these different things that, that most React projects have. All right, so let me know what you think, and if you're interested in learning how to code, I recommend you check out my website, CodeHawk.com. I have courses on pretty much all the latest web development technology, and it's much, much cheaper than all the other competition.